Protests in the Ghanaian capital have escalated into violent clashes with police, resulting in the arrest of dozens of demonstrators, including a minor. AMID growing unrest over illegal mining and economic hardship. A three-day protest organized by the civil advocacy group Democracy Hub erupted over the weekend as demonstrators took to the streets to denounce the government's handling of illegal mining or gallimcy, which has caused widespread environmental destruction in Ghana. The protesters also expressed anger over the country's struggling economy ahead of December's critical elections. On Monday, police issued a warrant for Oliver Barker Vermawer, a prominent democracy hub leader, accusing him of removing the ignition key from a police vehicle and toppling crash barriers during a confrontation. A viral police video showed the activist evading arrest. Grace Ansa Crofi, a spokesperson for the Ghana Police Service, stated that the protesters had a assembled unlawfully and clashed with officers attempting to maintain order. The protest was largely driven by public outrage over illegal mining, which has ravaged Ghana's water bodies and forest reserves. Once limited to small-scale artisanal operations, Gallimsey has expanded into an environmental crisis, contaminating key rivers like the Pra, Ankabra, and Birim with mercury and cyanide. Ghana is also grappling with an economic downturn, exacerbated as as the December elections approach. Democracy Hub, composed mainly of young activists, has been vocal in demanding greater government accountability on both environmental and economic issues. The Ghana Water Company Limited GWCO recently warned that water treatment plants are struggling to meet the population's needs due to high pollution levels. Over 392,000 hectares of forest reserves have been destroyed by illegal mining, an issue that continues to dominate public debate. While police insist they acted within the law, Democracy Hub condemned what it described as the unjustified use of force against peaceful demonstrators. We condemn in the strongest terms this blatant attempt to weaponize the police force against the people of Ghana. The group said in a statement, the use of force against unarmed protesters violates the democratic and human rights principles our nation uphold. They also accused the police of denying them basic necessities like food, water, and prevented family and friends from visiting them. Over 40 men and women of the Democracy Hub were taken to court. 48 hours after they had been arrested, they all pleaded not guilty. However, the court denied them bail and asked them to reappear in court in two weeks' time. The unrest comes as Ghana prepares for a crucial December election, with the economy expected to dominate the campaign. The ruling New Patriotic Party and PP candidate, Vice President Mahamudu Bawumia, is set to face former President John Mahama of the Opposition, National Democratic Congress NDC, in what analysts predict will be a closely fought race. Ghana's economy is still recovering. From a 2022 financial crisis that led the government to default on its external debt. However, there have been recent signs of recovery, buoyed by a $3 billion International Monetary Fund IMF package. Thank you for watching today's kindly like comments. Share and subscribe for more videos on this channel.